Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! Hello there. Sorry for interrupting your daily routine SpongeBob short today, but this is far more important. I, Michael Perez, has been informed to tell you guys about this important information for AP Human Geography for Mr. Hammond in period 5. He has told me to tell you guys about cultural ecology, possibilism, and environmental determinism for all of these will be on your next upcoming test. Shall we continue? Cultural Ecology, a geographic approach that emphasizes human-environment relationships. An example would be how humans from different areas approach the land at hand, like Hawaii and Alaska. How the physical environment influences a variation of unique cultural traits like clothing, etiquette, and so on. In Hawaii, everything is loose, relaxed, and hot, meaning a more upbeat culture, less clothing, more vibrant colors in clothes and other resources, and much more, due to what the environment has provided. Meanwhile, in places like Alaska, it is cold and lacks resources to work with, so the people dress with more clothing, try to use techniques to keep warm, and so on, due to the same reason with which is what the environment has provided for them. The downside is it is cold and hard to work in conditions like this. Moving on, possibilism is a very key concept. It was created by my man, the one and only Vital Do the Brush. Is that what it is? Oh, never mind. Vidal de la Blache after environmental determinism, which was created in response to the last theory. This theory led to the interest in political ecology. For example, the climate of any location influences human activities, especially food production. Anyways, according to the handy dandy textbook, I have been provided with what possibilism means. It means that the physical environment may limit some human actions, but people have the ability to adjust to their environment. See, it says it right there. See? Right there. Right there. It says it right there. See? Finally, last but not least, environmental determinism is a late 19th-early 20th century concept formed by German geographers Humboldt and Ritter, which created many disputes over time. Overall, to cut to the chase, environmental determinism is the belief that the physical environment causes social development. A good example would be Jamaicans, since their environment has created a stereotype for them of being lazy, relaxed, and laid back. This is mainly due to the tropical weather as stated by the environmental determinists.